Uh, so I've just been shadowing the sports science department here at the Storm and um, I've been involved with the strength and conditioning co coaches as well as the sports science team that, that do a lot of the data work with the GPS and I guess it's pretty much monitoring the athletes um, both from the gym and out, out on game day as well. And you've been working with a cricketer over the past week or so in Ian Holland. How, how has he been for you? He's been fantastic. He's been full it, put in straight into it. Uh, he's collected a lot of urine samples. He's probably over that at the moment and he's be out here in a minute just helping to set up with the GPS but now he's got the full brunt of it the boys are happy to have him here and have gotten a few tips in terms of their bowling techniques and batting over the last few days so he's been going really well. And what have been some of the key learnings that you've you've uh, been able to take away? I guess the, the key learnings from this um, experience is being able to apply it to a real life scenario I've learned a lot of that at, at university in terms of um, learning about stats and, and GPS and, and how that works and, and monitoring the athletes but now it's it's been really good to I guess apply it to a real life situation and, and see how it works in the real world. Now I know that some of the Storm boys um, are pretty keen cricket, both players and, and fans of the game, is that, is that what you found as well? They are actually, they have um, every away game they play, they, they play like a little scratch match cricket game so we've been having a few hits in the gym and a few throw downs here and there so they actually do enjoy it. I dare say you've been pitching the ball up. Yeah I have, I don't want to get on the wrong side of them, <laughs> they're pretty big boys. Is it good to get some, um, I, I guess, influences from different sports? I think it is. I think if you confine yourself to looking at just your particular sport, you miss out on potentially a lot of good things that other clubs and other organisations and other football or just sp sporting codes in general are doing. So we'll look to a lot of different resources and a lot of different areas to see what we, if we can improve and get the best. So, yeah, definitely. It must be quite intimidating inside the gym with uh, what they m must be pressing. Yeah, it is. It's very impressive. Um, the, the, the leg strength is ridiculous. The first day I was here, um, one, one of the boys was squatting 230 kegs in the gym, so it gives you a fair idea about how much emphasis they put on lower body strength, but they're just they're massive, yeah. Does it compare with Aaron Finch? Finchy, uh, Finchy's probably in this department. He'd be pretty good in the scrum, I reckon. <laughs> and um, in terms of uh, your own career what what sort of inspiration has it prov provided um yeah i think it's it's great like these guys do train really hard and some of the blokes in this squad train as hard as i've seen so it does really remind you how much you know you need to work hard to get to the top and um yeah it's good seeing it in another code as well well uh thanks for being with us uh, Ian, and um all the best with your remainder of your time at the storm and for the season ahead Thank you, and no, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for thanks for everything. Cheers.